Welcome to Royal Secrets. According to royal experts, Meghan Markle shares a residence with her ex-boyfriend Corey Vitiello from Canada while dating Prince Harry. But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Meghan Markle reportedly continued to live with her former Canadian lover, Chef Corey Vitiello, when she went on her first date with Prince Harry. The astounding claim, according to news.com.au, was made in Tom Bauer's memoir Revenge, Harry, Meghan, and the Fight Between the Windsors. The mentioned book explored about the life of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. According to reports, Vitiello and Markle were dating from 2014 until 2016. Markle was still living with her Canadian lover, according to Bauer, when she was arranged to meet Prince Harry on a date in London in 2016. The British author claimed that by the time Markle left for a vacation to Europe in the summer of 2016, their relationship had already come to an end. He noted that Markle and the Canadian society chef were still staying in their shared home as they deliberated how to call it quits. While Markle was in London, a high society Ralph Lauren PR reportedly hooked them up on a date and outfitted the actress for two Wimbledon appearances. The matchmaker was identified by the British author as Violet von Westenholz, the son of Prince Charles's close friend and playmate of Princes William and Harry. Bauer believes that Markle persuaded Violet to arrange up a blind date for her and Harry do of her sympathetic approach. After their first date on July 1, 2016, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly planned to get together again. The British author claims that two weeks after Markle and Harry's first date, the prince secretly flew to Toronto, Canada, and spent around a week there with Markle's friend, possibly Jessica Mulroney. Vitiello and Markle were still sharing a home at the time. The situation for Meghan was challenging but doable, because Corey was still living with her, Bauer added. The connection between Markle and her Canadian partner ended following Harry's visit to Toronto, according to the British author. In Bauer's words, Meghan was confident that her spell was cast and the relationship with Harry would be sealed at the end of the week after he Harry returned to London. Markle informed Corey that their relationship was over. He was relieved, not understanding the situation. The author said, the past few months had been awful. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their relationship known to the public and media in November 2016. After becoming engaged in November 2017, they were wed in May 2018. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex currently have two children. The couple was not invited to the Balmoral summer party this year, according to Page Six. The publication was informed that they had not been invited to join Queen Elizabeth on her customary summer vacation in the Highlands, despite claims that they had been solicited. Numerous sources have confirmed to Page Six that the Sussex family will not be traveling with the Queen. The couple will stay in the nation until this fall, when Harry's memoir will be published. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry visited the UK in June to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, it was the last time they saw her. The parents first presented their daughter Lilibet to the monarch. Meghan Markle is credited with writing several of the chapters in Prince Harry's upcoming memoirs, a royal expert said in a GOTV story. The book will be ghastly, said foreign policy specialist Niall Gardner, who also conjectured that Meghan might have just written a sizable section of it. A publishing insider told The Sun that the project had been finished, had gone through all the legal steps, and had been freed from Harry's hands. Harry claims that the book will be his autobiography, complete with all of his errors and life's lessons. He promised that it would be a truthful and entirely factual chronicle of his life. According to the Daily Beast, the staff of the Prince of Wales has spent months trying to learn what additional shocking revelations will be made by royal author Christopher Anderson. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates.